Look at this, what a morning, it's perfect. If only we had more weather like this where you could just wake up and stick on a pair of shorts and a t-shirt every day, eh? My problem is, I've got so many subjects and things to talk about, and my brain is bouncing and dancing all over the place. It's just everywhere, and I don't know where to start. But on this one, I thought I'd say a little bit about the challenges of trying to build a YouTube channel. Because there are challenges, it's a lot of fun, the results can be great, I haven't got there yet, but the actual reward of doing it and making films you're happy with and proud of, that is reward in itself. But the process is interesting and the learning curve is steep and fascinating. So I'm going to give you a bit of an insight into what the day-to-day -day life is like for your average Joe trying to hold down a full-time job and trying to, you know, get somewhere on YouTube at the same time. For example, I'm up at six most mornings, editing, downloading files, naming files, all that sort of stuff. Maybe, um, you know, checking out some audio, building some thumbnails, that sort of stuff, constantly on it. It never really ends. So that's up at six in the morning. Then I go to work and do a full day's work. Then I come home, and probably at some point during that evening, I almost definitely do another hour or so on it. Uh, and try and keep on top of things. Which is half the battle, you know? Just keeping ahead, keeping ahead. It's good to have a few videos in the bag, in the can, ready to go, which I usually have, but I found that they've been catching up with me a bit lately, or I've been catching up with them, one or the other. Um, Realising I'm not as, as far ahead as I thought I was. Another one of the challenges is sort of breaking into a new field. Like anything really, um, if you're getting into something new, you've got to have a bit of patience and realise that it takes time to get into it. You can't, you can't rush it. You just got to be committed to it and stick at it, you know, and have a regularity. I've watched loads of other YouTube tutorial videos about how to get started and all this sort of thing. And they all pretty much boil down to the same thing, and that is consistency, obviously quality. You know, we've got to try and make your videos of a certain quality, which is another learning curve, you know. Everybody seems to know that your first few videos are going to be pretty basic, and you look back at them and cringe one day, but that's how it is. You've got to go through that, just like anything. And, uh, yeah, you've got to keep going, really with your consistency and try and improve your quality bit by bit as you go along. That's the idea, and that's what I'm trying to do. Try and improve a little bit each time if possible. Well, <laughs> we know how I like an alley. This is an alley. But yeah, I'm making this now, I'm walking to work. I've already been up early this morning. I've done a bit of editing, I've named a few files, I've done a bunch of stuff. I've had some breakfast, I've done all my usual things, you know, six o'clock in the morning. I've got two hours of stuff done before I even get out the door and head off to work. And whilst doing that, I thought, well, I can make a quick video on the way. What I like about it is you get to download all this chaos in your mind, at least in my mind. It's pretty chaotic up here, I tell you, it really is. And it, <laughs> it'd be quite nice if I could download it all and get it all out there. So that's kind of something else off the list. How I look at things anyway. Look at this, what a spot. So peaceful. But actually, you know, making the videos themselves isn't too bad. The actual process is all right. The editing is the slow part, and I kind of like it. I just wish it wasn't quite so time consuming. Uh, maybe I'm doing something wrong. Maybe there's better ways to do it. Who knows? I mean, you get better at it. Obviously, you get faster, but there's no there's no substitute for having to check through the files and watch them beginning to end to make sure everything's in order. There's no shortcuts. You've basically got to you got to watch each one to see if it's all you know if it all fits together, if it's correct, if there's any fluffs. So that adds up. So one thing I'm thinking about. Yeah, I am thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. I'm committed to it yet, but I am thinking about getting a video editor or at least trying to get a video editor. And that's my next challenge. How do I go about that? Who do I find? How do I find them? Are they going to be any good? Is it going to be worth it? Is it going to be expensive? 
I don't know. I think it's got to be worth a try though. Because I can already see the advantage of, you know, just hopefully handing over the files and say, here's the whole lot. You know, we've agreed a sort of style or whatever it is and they just get on with it. But I'm struggling with that. So anybody got any really good pointers on that? Do let me know, because I'd love to know. And why am I doing it? Anyway, I guess it's been in the back of my mind for a long time. I've liked the idea of doing a YouTube, starting a YouTube channel. And yeah, like a lot of people, I've seen coincidentally a lot of videos, funnily enough, have been recommended to me <laughs> of people of my sort of age, if you like, and people who have somehow lost their jobs. Well, what do you know? They lost their jobs and started a YouTube channel. And that was my, that was my kickstart as well. I lost my job a few months back. And I thought, well, this is the time. This is the perfect opportunity. I've got a bit of time on my hands. Now is the time to do the research and get, get into it, you know, and get it started. And like they all say, just start. Well, it wasn't quite that simple. Yes, you can just start with just a mobile phone, but I wanted to do a bit of research and get some sort of usable camera that I knew could sustain me a bit longer, a bit longer term, um, which is what I did. I spent the first few weeks looking into all that. And once that was done, then I could just start. And that's what I've done, because for me, doing that, spending a bit of money on the kit and getting a few bits in, sort of confirmed my commitment to it. If you just do it on your mobile phone and then, you know, you can leave it on and off or leave it off any time you feel like it. But if you've invested a bit of money into something, you feel a bit more committed to it that you've got to carry on. And that was my approach anyway. And so far, it's working. Yeah, I did lose my job. It's kind of a story for another time, I suppose, but the long and short of it is I lost my job after 12 years in one place. I realized I was middle-aged and I had to get another job. Now, the last time that happened to me, I was obviously 12 years younger, maybe more. And finding another job was ridiculously easy at that time, which is crazy. I, I can remember that time I applied for three jobs and got offered all three jobs. I thought, ah, this finding a job lock is easy. Fast forward 12 years, try and do the same thing again. Mm -mm, different story. I applied, I don't know, probably went to 10 interviews, 12 interviews, maybe more. It took three months, it was getting on for four months. It was getting worrying. It was getting pretty, yeah, depressing, nerve wracking, all that stuff. Anyway, cut a long story short, obviously it worked out. Um, worked out pretty well, in fact. And I don't know if it was luck or what, but I made it work. And I'm back in employment, which is both good and bad because, yeah, I mean, really, I'd rather be doing this. But it's good to be employed. I was very glad to get a job. You know, there's a whole story going on, and I've seen a lot of channels now about people, uh, middle-aged people in there, 40s even, mid 40s and, and certainly 50s, who are struggling to find work again. Some saying they're overqualified. Yeah, I think people are sort of quietly speculating that whether there's a bit of unspoken ageism going on out there, which is possible. I mean, the place I'm working now, I work into my office. Yeah, and I'm, well, I'm not quite the oldest guy there, but I'm the second oldest. And everybody else there is young, I realize, and Ah, you know, that's just how it is. I mean, they were good enough not to be ageist in any sense, which is great. It's very progressive of them. So I've kind of fallen lucky, so I've got to make the most of it. They're a good bunch. Ah, I'm terrible at this stuff. This is supposed to be more about YouTube. And this is a completely random, unplanned video. And come to think of it, why is that? Well, this is completely unplanned and random because it's bloody hard, you know? I haven't got the time. They talk about writing scripts and all that stuff. I just feel like I haven't got enough time to do all the things I want to do in life, let alone sit down and write a script for something. I sort of think it through in my head. And I'm not really much of a writing type person anyway. You know, I get these thoughts in my head and I think, kind, of, kind of go with them. I would like it to be all free flowing and nice and natural and easy. <sighs> it's the only way I know how to do it. I'm not the most natural free flowing of people as it is, but I really want that to be the way, because it would be so much nicer than having to sit down and script everything out, which always feels so staged to me and set up, you know? 
that shows the way, I say. So what is my plan for the YouTube channel? Well, it's definitely to be a long-term thing. It's to keep going, keep finding ways of making it work, keep doing interesting stuff if I can, keep improving things, making it more interesting and exciting and fun. That's, that's what it's supposed to be about, really. The whole thing's supposed to be about fun. I'm not in it for the money, but if there's some comes along with it, then that's a bonus, you know, that's the idea. I just want to make people happy uh, <laughs> so they get some, f some fun out of it. If I can make that work and people can resonate with it, then that's perfect. Um, at the end of the day, I don't have kids, um, never wanted them. <laughs> but that does mean that you go through life building experience and gathering and gaining experience. And every now and again, I do sort of think, well, maybe it'd be nice if I could pass this experience on to someone, you know, these experiences. I find myself passing them on to people here and there, but it's not really that fulfilling or satisfying. So maybe, just maybe, I can pass on a few things through YouTube, through this, this great medium, and others will pick up some stuff from it that way and be appreciative perhaps that, you know, they've learned a little something, just one or two things, even if it's silly stuff or fun things or motivation. I hope to give people motivation because I'm quite into health and fitness. I'm not obsessive about it, but I believe that if you keep yourself fit and motivated and active, you can keep going well into your 50s, 60s, 70s. And that's what I want to do. He works for me. <laughs> I don't know why he doesn't take the shortcut. Motivation. Reasons, you know? What have I got? Nearly a four kilometre walk to work. It's nothing for me. It's absolutely nothing. I'm going to run it home later. So I want people in there, I want to motivate people in their 30s and 40s to maybe look at someone in an older generation and say, this guy's still going, you know, he's doing stuff, he's fit, he's getting out there, get out and about. I want to be like that, or maybe I can do that. Or maybe people are a bit unfit in their 30s and 40s and they're thinking, you know, perhaps I can improve myself or get better or something, you know. Hopefully they look at someone a bit older, five, ten years old or maybe 15 years old and think, wow, you know, he's doing it, maybe I can do it. That's what I'm hoping to achieve is to inspire others to you know, better themselves and get themselves into a better position where, you know, they can still go out and be active, you know. I like to go on holidays and I like to go on adventure trips. Uh, and when we do that, I really want to be able to walk and hike and go up mountains still. And I want that to go on as long as possible. And that means keeping the activity going. And that way, I'll never lose it. <laughs> I'm not saying I'm the only one like this. There's loads and loads of fit, fit middle-aged people out there, absolutely loads of them. And in fact, I take a lot of my inspiration from older people that I've seen over the years on the TV or just, you know, in real life, out and about, who are just fit and active and doing stuff. Someone older than me who's still actively walking around or going on a trek or hiking or this, that and the other, and they're like, 60, 65, 70, I'm thinking, yes, man, that's the way. That's what I want to be like. I want to be that guy who's still out there, moving around, active and busy doing things and enjoying life, right through, straight through to the end, you know? <laughs> Getting on with stuff and just having a great time in life. Because that's what it's about. We're probably here just once. You might as well make the most of it, but... <laughs> There's a balance, isn't there? Making the most of it. Some people could interpret as drinking and partying it up. Well, yeah, it's fine. You can do that. Do that in your earlier years, maybe, in your 20s and 30s and stuff like that. But then always keep one eye on the future. That's my thinking. Always keep an eye ahead of to, you know, what state are you going to be in when you're 50, 60 years old? You know, are you going to be that pot belly, beer bellied guy who just sits around doing next to nothing, or you're gonna be that guy that gets out in the morning, goes out and enjoys these beautiful mornings, and does stuff, you know? Or do you wanna wake up with a hangover every day? It's not that. I've woken up with enough hangovers in my life. It doesn't do you any good. You just wake up and waste half the day or half a weekend. As you get older, 
and work more and more, you realize those weekends are crucial. You know, when you spend half your day, half your working week just flat out doing stuff, you want that weekend to be, you want to make the most of it basically. Anyway, time's getting on. This wasn't meant to be a long rambling video. This is meant to be just a quick one, just to say hello and keep everybody motivated, keep things going. I'm gonna leave it at that. Carry on the rest of my journey. It's not very pleasant. It's a bit, <laughs> a bit <laughs> it's a bit scuzzy, quite honestly, which is perfect in a way. <laughs> very fitting. Um, yeah, so we're gonna leave it at that for now. I hope everybody has a great day and I will catch up with you somewhere on the next one. Thanks. And you know what? Get outside and enjoy some fresh air. Get yourself moving like that person over there. That's my people right there. Look at that. Getting on with it. That's what I'm talking about. Good for you. Yes, man. <laughs> yeah.